a mini cock puppet show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a Shakespearean tragedy. It's it's awesome. I'm working on it all week. <laughs> People know me are probably like, oh, he was a good boy. <laughs> Such a good boy. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's a. This show is actually three hours long. It's my cock that's small. That's... <laughs> 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 Don't worry. Um, yeah, I hope this doesn't go like the first time I had sex. <laughs> I was dating a chick for like a year and a half. I was stoked, ready. It was like, <laughs> clothes off. I was like, it's going down. She got naked. I was like, ha, you got smaller than mine. That's fantastic. <laughs> Performance anxiety or some shit can get hard and it sucked. She laughed, I cried. It was fantastic, but hopefully it's not like today, so I'll also my cop later. Um Yeah. Don't you hate it when you have to break up with someone because of like a, a character trait or a flaw? Uh recently I had to get out of a relationship because uh I was dating a girl who sounded like the governor of California. <laughs> now not at all. It's, it's, it's like, yeah, she was beautiful, she was stunning, but just the pillow talk was intense. He was like, do you want to cuddle with me? Are you sure? I'm gonna be the big spoon. It's all right. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. So I tried limiting the time that we talked to each other. I, uh, I, cut it, I cut it down. We only went to movies together, so she had to shut up. Uh, ball and mouth cage. <laughs> don't fuck it up. Just don't fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it didn't work. She she adapted like a fucking machine sent back in time to screw with college horny like men. You know, it's really weird. She wanted to try phone sex. She gives me a call and she's like, "Tell me what you're wearing." I'm like, "What?" I, I gotta go study or sleep or drive a car off a cliff. I, I really can't do this right now. I'm sorry. And it was just, it was very strange. Uh, eventually I stopped answering her phone, uh, and um, she came to my house unannounced and broke into my room. She punched through my wall and ripped my couch off. And it ended after that. It was two weeks of hell. It was a good time. I started doing drugs really hard after that. I was like, fucked me up. I was like, oh shit. I did so much drugs uh, in the month of November that I didn't dream once. I didn't have a fucking dream the whole month. It was intense. I, I literally, when I, I finally came off, I noticed I was having a bad habit forming here. I got off of it, and the, the next three nights of dreams were the most intense three nights of dreams I've ever had. I'd fucking wake up, and I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be shaky, full of sweat. Everything would go on. I was like, my brain was just pouring out all this info. It was nuts. So don't do drugs. <laughs> uh, that's bad. Especially in mass amounts. That's it. That's all right. Woo!